BTS ticket sales are in extremely high demand, so much so that they've already beat out sales for Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift's tours in the first three days alone. What's up, you guys? It's Danny Gala back here with Clever News. And remember that time when the BTS army was freaking out because of such high demand in ticket sales? Well, clearly they all had the right to worry because the ticket sales have skyrocketed through the roof. And while I hate to do this, I'm gonna base these facts off comparisons to other artists' ticket sales just to show how mind-blowing these ticket sales are. According to StubHub, which allows fans to buy and resell tickets, some venues that are hosting the BTS Map of the Soul Tour sold out within hours. The site also said that it saw almost twice as many tickets sold for BTS as the entirety of the Super Bowl. Did you hear that? The Super Bowl, AKA the most watched televised event of the year. The 560% growth for BTS in the first 72 hours compares with Ariana Grande's Sweetener Tour in 2019, which had a 378% growth, and also Taylor Swift's Lover Fest in 2020, which had a 258% increase. BTS fans from all over the US, as well as 24 other countries, have already purchased their tickets, making the group SubHub's number one top-selling artist in the past 30 days, also beating out artists like Billie Eilish, Post Malone, Elton John, and My Chemical Romance. Like, what? So if you're in complete disbelief, although why would you be because it's BTS, StubHub's general manager of music and theater revealed that, quote, the BTS 2020 tour is driving demand unlike anything we've seen from a pop act in recent years. And just because I'm sure the BTS army will appreciate these numbers, I'm gonna keep going. The group was also StubHub's biggest seller of 2019 with the highest grossing overall tour for their Love Yourself World Tour grossing more than $196.4 million. Last July, BTS also made its number 43 debut on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list, earning $57 million in pre-tax income over the past year. These guys are literally on fire, and I'd be willing to bet that they aren't slowing down anytime soon. Their upcoming tour kicks off in April and will circulate through Asia, North America, and Europe. But speaking of that upcoming tour, many fans are frustrated and worried after Ticketmaster revealed new pre-sale rules. Late last year, BTS's management group Big Hit Entertainment announced a new ticket lottery system for fans looking to get the best seats. In order to gain access to the floor seats in the lottery, fans are to purchase an official ARMY fan club membership, which automatically enters them into the raffle to access these floor seats. The site also sent out a tweet stating that fans should come to Ticketmaster early and sign in, only use one device, try not to buy tickets on the same Wi-Fi network as another fan, and also stay in one waiting room per show. So basically it sounds like it's just about as simple as solving a Rubik's Cube in like eight seconds. This obviously didn't sit well with fans who noted that everything they thought they knew about purchasing pre-sale tickets on Ticketmaster is now not a thing. They also pointed out that ARMY members will only be allowed to purchase pre-sale tickets for the specific date they chose when registering for the lottery, so basically you literally get one chance to get your tickets. Members of the ARMY took to Twitter to air out some dirty laundry, writing things like, quote, okay, this is not okay. Ticketmaster, I don't know what y'all are smoking up in there, but y'all have lost it. So you're telling me that I can't connect with more than one device to the same Wi-Fi or we'll get kicked out? What a joke. But if there's one thing I love about the BTS ARMY, you guys are the most supportive, which is always refreshing to see. All the confusion left fans tweeting helpful advice to people unable to purchase tickets due to the new regulations. Seriously, you just gotta love the ARMY and their dedication. On that note, I probably don't even need to tell you guys, but the band's Map of the Soul 7 album is set to drop next week on February 21st. Until then, were you guys able to actually get through with purchasing your Map of the Soul tickets? And were you at all surprised that BTS outsold both Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande? Get the conversation going down in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you never miss out on any of our BTS updates. And you can click right over here to watch another new video. I'm your host, Danny Golub, and I'll catch you guys next time.